Every time we go hunting, it's important to make sure that we understand if we're gonna pull the trigger or release an arrow, we know exactly where we wanna be aiming on that deer so that it expires as quickly as possible. Short blood trails, high recovery rates, that's the goal. Well, that all starts by understanding exactly where the organs are in this deer, understanding where the bones are that we want to miss, where the organs are that we want to hit. So what I have here is an anatomically correct model that shows us where the shoulder bones are, this side simulates the skin being on, so we can practice where to aim. This side has the skin removed and it shows us exactly where the bones are and where all of the organs are. And a little bit of an anatomy lesson will allow us to place that bullet or that arrow exactly where we want. Now, the nice thing about this is there's lots of different places that we can shoot a deer to kill them. However, what I'm gonna show you today is the best place to aim. And it's also the easiest place to pick to aim once you're in the field, especially for new hunters. We're gonna start this by saying, we're gonna come right up the leg, then come right up the body about halfway, and where those two places intersect, that's where we wanna aim. The reason for that is, if we take a look where that would be, we come up the leg, we break that in half, and you can see we're not gonna be hitting any of this shoulder. Far too many hunters think that this shoulder runs straight up and protects what's behind it. And in fact, it does protect it, but it doesn't run straight up. It comes forward and then back, providing a huge hole right in the middle to be able to hit this deer in the lungs and in the heart. And I'm gonna remove this to show exactly where this aiming point would come. Now, we have our lungs, we have our heart. On a real animal, obviously the lungs cover this. They're just cut away here to show the placement of the heart. And we can see where our spine is. So if we come right up that leg, break that in half, we are right at the top of the heart, which is perfect because there are a whole series of nerves that come together right here. So from a firearm hunting perspective, with a rifle, if we hit a deer here, in most cases, it will drop immediately. It is not running. There is no way that we have to go and, and uh, retrieve it or follow a blood trail. It will drop on the spot and be dead immediately. That is exactly what we're looking for. The nice thing too is if we aim here, we have the greatest margin of error to either miss a little back, a little forward, up or down, and still have a very lethal shot. And finally, even if we put this back, if we hit there, we are ruining a minimal amount of meat. Now there is certainly some meat here in the shoulder. It's far better to lose a tiny bit and have the deer drop right there than have the deer run and risk not recovering it. So lots of benefits of pulling the trigger here. Now, before we leave the rifle hunting standpoint, I also want folks to understand about where the spine is. Way too many hunters think that the spine is at the top of a deer's back, and that's not the case. As you can see here, the spine starts much lower in the body, actually runs back. It does come up some, but it's a quarter to a third of the way down the body. It does have these processes off the top of the spine that run up to the top of the back, but there are no organs in here that we want to shoot or any way to kill the deer by hitting them in there. Way too many hunters talk about shooting above the lungs, but below the spine. In reality, as you can see, that area does not exist. The lungs come right up to the spine. What those hunters are actually talking about is they are hitting above the spine, but below the top of the back in this zone. If you hit a deer here with a rifle, because of the shock to the deer's body, a lot of times the deer will immediately drop, but after a minute or two, it collects its senses, it will get up and run away, never to be recovered because there is nothing in here that will kill the deer. So, straight up that leg, cut that body halfway, pull the trigger, you're gonna be very happy. Now, how about from an archery perspective? For shooting with a bow, this can be a little different. The idea is we want to stay away from the shoulder because a bullet can go through these bones, in many cases an arrow cannot. So, the idea is still the same, halfway up the body, come straight up that leg, that's where we want the arrow to hit. However, arrows are slower than bullets. Deer are very quick and very agile, and we have lots of footage of deer hearing the arrow coming to them and actually dropping down. In some cases, they can drop half of their body uh, width or even more. So what we want to do is that's still the area that we want the arrow to impact, but with a, with a bow, we often suggest finding that spot and then coming down a little lower when we pull the trigger on a crossbow or release your arrow to account for that deer being able to drop a little bit. 
A lot of hunters want to get behind that front leg on a broadside deer, but as you can see, if we are behind the leg, we immediately lose the ability to hit that heart. And from the lungs perspective, the lungs are much thicker up front than they are in the back. So we are causing more trauma to a deer's body by hitting the lungs farther forward. Very important from an archery perspective. So what I do is I will come up that leg, halfway up the body, that's where I wanna hit. I, I will actually move down a little bit as my aiming point to ensure that if that deer does drop some, I'm still exactly where I wanna hit. Now also from an archery standpoint, one thing that we want to account for is, what if that deer is not broadside, but what if that deer is quartering away from me? Too many archers will then try to get in behind the shoulder, but they aim too close to the shoulder. And what they end up doing then is hitting the left lung, but they don't get the right lung. So from an archery standpoint, we wanna think about where my arrow is entering, but also where is it gonna exit to make sure that we can get a shot through both lungs. Now with this, a quartering away deer, I am going to encourage you to aim back farther as your point of entry. If this deer is broadside, we're not gonna aim that far back. But if it is quartering away, I want to do this because I am gonna insert this arrow through here. We obviously are hitting the left lung, and some will say, oh, I think I'm gonna hit some of, the, some of the deer's entrails or its guts as well, maybe its stomach. And the answer is, yes, you will. But as long as it's going through both lungs, this animal will expire very quickly. We clearly got the left lung. And if I spin this, I'll remove the shoulder. Look where this arrow is exiting. We also got the right lung and we got the heart. This deer will die very quickly. If this arrow would have been shot farther forward, we would have missed the whole right lung, which means we only hit one of the two lungs and a lot of deer hitting one lung either never die or they don't die for several hundred yards making recovery very difficult or impossible. So on quartering away deer, aim a little farther back, you can get both lungs, be much more successful. The last archery shot that I want to describe comes from a tree stand. A lot of hunters are hunting from elevated positions. If the deer is out from you, say 20 to 30 yards, you are still, your aiming point will be where we discussed earlier. However, if the deer is in close to you and you are above it and the angle is steep down to it, way too many people aim too low on the deer's body. And we are gonna end up with one lung, but it's not gonna get both. So if that deer is in tight, I'm gonna encourage you to aim higher somewhere in this area, because now this is gonna go through the left lung. And if I spin this, we got the right lung and look how low on the body this is coming out. If we would have aimed any lower on the other side, this arrow would have come out in the middle of the deer and completely missed the right lung. Not nearly as lethal of a shot. But with this, it allows us to get both lungs. And the nice thing is, this if the arrow exits, and that's what we want, a hole in the bottom of the deer means a much better blood trail than if this is coming out much higher. So very important from an archery end. So tight angles, aim a little higher to make sure that you get both lungs. Well, I hope that this helps you understand a little bit more about exactly where the deer's organs are placed, including the spine, understand a little bit about that anatomy, and from shot placement is gonna make you a far more successful hunter this fall. To learn more, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, or head over to www.deerassociation.com. This video is part of the official NDA Deer Hunting 101 online course with Today's Hunter. For the full course, go to www.todayshunter.com forward slash deer 101. This Deer 101 digital series has been a Bearded Buck production.